So you've heard a loud sound, pull the carpet, laminate, or wood boards away from your floor and discovered a devastating crack in your home slab. I guess it's time to replace the slab altogether. Or you could use a combination of carbon fiber laminates with polyurea and sand to repair the crack. Let me explain. Hi, I'm Sarah, crew leader with Arizona Foundation Solutions. In this video, we will go over the details of concrete crack stitching as a solution to repairing your slab foundation. It is my hope that you will gain an understanding of crack stitching and whether it's the right solution for you. So let's get to it. What exactly is used to repair a crack slab? At Arizona Foundation Solutions, we use a combination of a carbon fiber laminate as a way to bridge the separated slab. Low viscosity polyurea is a fast moving, light and easily makes its way into the crevices of the established crack. This will make sure to secure the slab. Adding the carbon fiber laminates works to strengthen your slab and prevent further cracking. So what's the procedure for this exactly? One important thing to keep in mind is to make sure the work area is clean. All laminate floor, carpet, or planks within approximately one foot on each side of the crack should be removed. Upon arrival, our crews will clean the area. This will include clearing away any loose concrete in the crack itself. Now the crews will cut a small perpendicular slit to house the carbon fiber laminate. Because cutting into concrete creates dust, our crews will use water in order to keep dust under control. Excess water and cement is then vacuumed up. We will then prep the polyurea. Depending on the length of the crack, this can take anywhere from one to six containers. Once the polyurea is prepped, we will insert carbon fiber laminate into the slits. From here, we will insert the polyurea into both the established crack and the slits where the carbon fiber laminates are housed. In addition to polyurea, we use a fine sand to aid in the bonding process between the liquid and the slab. Any excess amount is spread over the top and cleared away. We allow a short 15 minute period for the mixtures to bond and harden. Before they are hardened too much, we scrape away whatever amount remains on the surface in order to have an even bridge. Once the surface has been cleaned and the compound hardened, we use a grinding tool to smooth out the surface. In some cases, the blending looks as if no crack was ever there. So now that you know the procedure and what to expect, how much does something like this cost? This will depend greatly on the length and width of the crack. Repairing cracks typically are one third the cost of repairing your entire floor. Here's some good news. The time it takes to do a project like this, one to two days max. From the arrival time to the departure time, you are looking at a time-friendly procedure. The area will then be ready within 24 hours to replace the carpet, laminate, or wood planks, whatever your flooring situation may be. If you had plans on remodeling, then those plans can begin the following day. So who can benefit from crack stitching? If you have a slab foundation, as many people do, and cracks occurred, then this method is a perfect fit to repair your slab. Homes with a crawl space held up by support beams won't benefit from the crack stitching. Those homes would be best serviced with our smart jack system. Mobile homes themselves wouldn't benefit. However, the slab they rest upon, if any, might benefit. So now that you have an understanding about our crack stitch procedure, take a look at your foundation slab. Are the cracks wider than an eighth of an inch? How long have they traveled through the slab? Do you feel it might be time to get this evaluated? Reach out to your foundation specialist with any further questions and they will be more than happy to answer any additional questions. 
I hope this video was of value to you and has given you the peace of mind you need to make an informed decision. If you found it helpful, hit that like and subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video.